It's the Burner, man. Back with Burner talking. Today, we're going to be talking about Kyrie Irving. It sounds like Kyrie is finally fed up with all the talking and living in LeBron's shadow. As we have right here, as you see, it says Kyrie Irving hasn't had much success since leaving LeBron. As you see right here, all the analytics. And it says under that, Kyrie Irving actually replied saying, pin this tweet and see what happens in the next few years. Let the burner talk. Look here. Some of y'all might hate Kyrie. You might think his off the court antics are kind of weird. It gets on your nerves. But if we're talking basketball, I have to be honest. Kyrie Irving is one of the best scores the NBA has ever seen. He is so crafty inside, outside, mid range. He can kill you in a plethora of ways. And in my opinion, he's the best dribbler the game has ever seen. So when somebody like that gets pissed off and has that chip on their shoulder and is gonna lock in and be like, you know what, I ain't playing this year. I'ma lock in, I'm killing anybody in front of me. He's already a killer, but I'm really killing anybody in front of me and I'm gonna let everybody know I'm done talking and I'm done playing. I'm going straight basketball. It's going to be tough, man, especially with the way the Mavs are set up. They did get a little better this year. But when you have a generational talent like Luka on your team, bro, it's going to be kind of scary. And this is year two of them playing together. The biggest thing is they have to get some rim protection because on the outside, you know Kyrie's not guarding nobody. You know Luka's not guarding nobody. But if they can get somebody they can really protect the rim or really alter some shots, somebody maybe like a... Like they're looking at Clint Capella. If they can, if they can pull that trade off, bro, it's gonna be kind of scary in that West because we already know what Luca does, what he does to the Clippers and stuff like that by himself. Now you're year two with Kyrie. Both of y'all can get a bucket. Kyrie is accustomed to playing off the ball. He's accustomed to playing number two. We don't know about Luca. Luca still has to try to transition to sometimes. Hey, Kyrie. You going crazy this game? I'm going to step back and still be effective on the offensive end. So we don't know if it's if that's going to be a thing in year two. And they got to get a couple more others. You know, you know, you got Seth Curry. You got you got the guy from um, Dallas, but they need a couple. They got Exum. I don't know what they're going to do with Exum, if he can even produce as the second point guard. They got a couple ifs. But like I said, they can get a couple more others and they can get some rim protection, it wouldn't be crazy to see them in the Western Conference Finals. But like I said, a couple things have to fall in place and Luka and Kyrie have to both not get hurt. But hey, if it all fall in place, hey, it could really be scary hours in Dallas. But I wanna know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think he's bluffing all, he's all talk like he always is? Do you think the Mavs have a real chance to come out the West? Do you think they're gonna make the Western Conference Finals? Let me know all this in the comment section. Don't forget to like up the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and y'all already know who it is. Burn up.